What's going on? Tectonic at your plan. Some more mono green Tron. Got a new screen up. Third time's the charm. Hopefully this time it's working. All right. Got the opening die roll here. And that is a keepable hand. We have Tron. All right. Cool. Good start. Two threats. A little bit of interaction. About the best Tron can hope for. Well, that and an easy win. I meant. Obviously, we can always hope for a good matchup. Which, let's see. Blood Crypt. Okay. Not the worst. Rav again. How important is Tron here versus slowing them down? I want turn three Tron. I could Warping Whale the Ravagan, but Tron. We're in a much stronger position having Tron than not having Tron. Well, they managed to exile the Kozilek. That's a little interesting. Oof, they're going to take the Warping Whale. Yep. Ooh, Jund Colors. Interesting. So there's the choice, Ravagan or Renin 6. We'll take out that Ravagan. They could dash another one, but I think if they have a lightning bolt, yep, they're gonna kill the Karn. Not a lightning bolt, but a bit of damage. They're going to use the Renin 6 on that. All right. Oof, Kroxa. cards in the graveyard before the Kuroksa matters. What do we want here? I feel like we do good things if we get Sundering Titan. But Trinosphere is also pretty powerful. Yeah, let's limit what they can do. One spell per turn.
Do we just shut everything down with the ensnaring bridge? Yeah. The reason I did that is because I don't uh, want to leave them a fetch land up. Okay. There's our lamp return. Grab our Sundering Titan. Take them down to one land. Does lose our forest, but we're still in a very good spot. Crack for green. Ancient stirrings. coil engine not what we're hoping for we are hoping to win this with other things we're saving the blast zone to either answer the two or the three uh, if we each player discards a card yep they are getting their land back that is unfortunate Oof, but that's a good find for us. And they're going to scoop up to the Karn. Yeah, typically in that match, if we can lock it down, our threats are just better. Here's the fun part. They have some graveyard. They've got some creatures to answer with Warping Whale. They could be bringing in stuff that we want to answer. In fact, I think they likely are. So I actually think we'll be a little bit better served with the nature's claims over the warping whale. Just in case we hit an alpine moon here. All right. No main hand, well, we've got Oblivion Stone, but we can never turn down Tron in hand. That's always a good sight to see. Our opponent, Mulligan's down to five. That tells me they're probably digging pretty hard for a sideboard card. Rav again. Well, no reason not to. They may actually play that. That extra draw can be pretty useful, yep. I 
I think I just let him return a land. I should have used the relic, but oh well. Nope, returns no cards to their owner's hand. All right. Well, we'll play a power plant. Pass turn. They hit the Kozilek again. Kozilek exiled twice. Mm, yeah, there's the thoughts or the Inquisition. They could take the O stone here. That'd be a little tricky, yep. Yeah, we're not gonna let him get that. And here we are in a good spot again. Second verse. We'll guarantee the Sundering Titan this turn. Yep, they're going to have to use both effects to kill the Karn. And we'll take that opportunity to shut down their land base. Could have artifact destruction here. They do have artifact destruction here. But taking him back down to one land seems pretty good. Granted, they do have the run and six, so they aren't missing a land drop. And they do get that. But I'm glad they don't get to play the worm coil here. Yeah, we'll just get out the big guy. And they're going to scoop to that. Worm Coil is usually pretty powerful because it 
pretty much I can block the Ravagan here and the Tarmogorgus is swinging for nothing. Um, or he's going to leave his Planeswalker defenseless. But yeah. All right. Well, there is, I guess this is the Jun matchup. I uh, haven't looked, seen a Jun build in a while. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the, the new screen. And if you like the video, make sure to leave it a like and check out my channel for more content like this. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.